So this is my back to white girl Chris, love in the fall. Favorite time of the year to go for like walks outside because it's not that hot. And you kind of, as you go through, if you go come every day, same spot, different spots, you can see like the like colors changing the leaves and stuff, which is, it's kind of pretty, you know, not gonna lie. I mainly love walking outside because it's just so relaxing in the morning. You literally just feel so calm walking through the woods completely alone. Sometimes I leave my phone in the car, sometimes I just jam out to like really chill beats, some set playlist that's like super calm. And you just kind of walk through the forest, look at shit. Don't think about your day. Don't plan what you're gonna do. Don't plan what you're gonna eat when you get home. None of that shit, just try and clear your mind and walk through it. And it's such a good way to start your day. You get back from it, get your shit together and you just feel like you're ready to start doing shit with your day. I don't know. I guess it's like a form of meditation, you could say. Cause I sure the hell couldn't sit down, cross my legs and stare at a wall for like 30 minutes or close my eyes and be like, um, um, or whatever they do. Actually is so sad seeing this. Just the forest slit like right behind my house when I grew up where I used to play with kids and bike through here and shit. Now they're destroying like the entire forest to build more houses. It actually is really sad because it was a sick community for kids and families growing up and it's all that kind of stuff. But that's our world right now. Literally losing all our forests, losing all our crap because there's so many goddamn people. No more babies, people. Easy on the babies. We had too many people in the house. Also, these signs that people have like taken down and shit are pretty, pretty jokes, pretty savage. Very accurate. Oh, that's sad. They will not know this forest. Okay, what's up YouTube? So I finally got a haircut. Literally my first time since Olympia. Fresh cut. I know I said I was gonna try and film it. The process of how I get my haircut, but it's Thanksgiving week. Thanksgiving weekend. Holy crap, my mouth is dry and the lisp is coming out. It's Thanksgiving weekend and my barber was out of barber and I felt way too guilty even just doing that and I was not gonna film it and promote the different barber so next time I promise I will film it but it's I just shaved the sides and it's not that complicated but you guys keep asking so I will get it next time I promise but right now I am headed home didn't really do much today I have a lot I need to pack I got a bunch of shit I got to pick up kind of get ready for when I'm home because I'm gone for 12 days right now I'm going up to my parents house for Thanksgiving weekend like I said the Melissa and Ian are coming down we're having a big dinner I'm helping them kind of clean out the house a bit and then I hit the Gymshark pop-up store in Toronto which I'm super hyped about almost missed my exit should not be driving while I do this but yeah so Toronto pop-up store is next week very hyped about that they got me down there for like six days I think and I'm at my parents for three so got a pack for like almost two weeks which is fun as always I'm driving down there obviously because I can't fly so that's that I'm not supposed to be on any planes right now changing altitude but headed to Toronto next week for a full week so that should be fun if you guys are in the area or anywhere close by stop by because it's gonna be fun as hell a lot of assets coming out we're doing a bunch of events I think or some stuff with Facebook even and then we got the big store on 950 DuPont Street on Saturday and Sunday which is the 13th and 14th I think so be sure to come by and say what's up because I'm the Gymshark rookie and I can't I can't look like I'm not cool out there you know so don't leave me hanging okay so packing the essentials for road trips 
right now. My toiletries, number one. Everyone always asks about this. Hair gel, I always use this brand, Losevero. I actually bring pretty much three different types with me. This one is uppercut, it's a different brand. It's just a really intense like hold that I use if it's like raining or something, or when I go on stage, I use that one. And then this is like a leave-in conditioner. I don't always use that, maybe if my hair is dry, but this is the pomade that I always use. A buddy of mine actually owns it up in Canada, so you can go to losevero.com and order that. Just a friend of mine who makes it. That's a hair gel. Always bring floss because we're always eating out. Fun fact about me, I never wear deodorant ever. Ever. So, what about when I go to expos? I mean, sometimes I get sweaty and I'm eating people, so I bring deodorant. Also, fun fact about me, for almost, is that blurry? For almost like two years, I shampooed my hair like once every three months, maybe once every two months or so, and I never shampooed because I thought it cleaned itself. It, my hair never smelled and it wasn't oily, it wasn't gross. I always thought it was like good for it, but it, I later found out that that can be like, especially because I put product in my hair, it clogs the pores in the roots of your hair and can prevent it from growing and make you lose your hair and have it thin out. And they do not have the best hair genetics for getting thinner. So I had got this new, Shampoo, it's called Nutriox. The main important thing is it has biotin and B6 in it, I think. I don't know. I asked the lady at the store, she said it was the best one. So I went and I bought these little containers to travel with because I don't want to bring the entire tub. So I'll bring those in because hair is important. And I also put this in my hair after I shampoo, just like an oil, argan oil and Moroccan oil, just to kind of keep it luscious and keep it smooth, you know? So I'm gonna bring all that. I got a new toothbrush. I always get the soft, cheap ones, just because I have bad gums. Not bad gums, but I used to brush really too, way too hard as a kid. And my doctor, my dentist started to tell me that my gums were rising too high, so I had to get really soft bris bristles. Bristles, bristles. Also, Canadian winters, dry AF, so I always bring a fat thing of moisturizer because I get really dry. And yeah, oh, can't forget the beard trimmer. Always bring this because you got to keep fresh. Having a beard isn't just about letting it grow and being lazy. You got to keep it trimmed, keep the lines right, keep it fresh. You know how it is. Mustache will be back soon, I hope. Um, what else did I get? Oh. This is, I bought this today at Walmart when I was out because of shaving my hairy ass before the Olympia. Literally, my hairy ass shaving it. My <laughs> drain, it clogs up pretty slowly every time I'm showering. It starts to like fill up a bit with water, like just a little bit, but more than I want. So I got some of this, gonna pour that in. I think you can leave for 24 hours, but I'm just gonna pour it in when I leave right now and leave it, let it sit there for 12 days and hopefully it just clears the shit out of it when I come home. It's nice and clean. It was very nice. Goals pre-workout right now. Watching Gotham. Just had, didn't show this because it was literally just 100 grams of turkey, which looked very depressing. So I didn't even show that, ate that. But then I have this beautiful bowl of cereal. Puffins peanut butter cereal. I think it's just made out of oats and corn and stuff and peanut butter and sugar and sugar and unsweetened vanilla almond breeze and chopped up bananas in there. Goals pre-workout. Sitting here in my underwear because I was watching Cops and it got hot. Mm. Okay, so head to the gym right now to train chest. I'm going alone, going solo, late Friday night, I'm tired AF, so we'll not be filming, but I do have some old footage from a previous chest day, so I'll throw them in after this. But first, I'm stopping by the post office, because I got the shoes from the giveaway from uh, from my last video. The winner, congrats to Tane Foley. I'll show you guys the meme right now. Um, yeah, I have a special place in my heart for daddy jokes, not gonna get into that one, but I had a good chuckle at his uh, his meme creation, so it's going to you. Congrats, Tane. 
but sadly I didn't realize that he lives in Australia so now I've got to ship this fat package all the way literally across the entire world Canada to Australia is like the opposite side of the world so you're welcome for your shoes Tan you motherfucker making me send these all the way to Australia <laughs> oh wait don't do it this way or this way So I just got back from the gym. <clears throat> it's already 9.45, it's late AF, and I was starving. I ended up talking to a bunch of people at the gym and staying there for way too long, but I actually had a really good chest workout, so I can't complain. I actually had some, I normally don't have any like shitty food, obviously I haven't been eating very much lately, but I had that cereal pre-workout. I'm not gonna lie, I probably had like 80 grams of almond butter just with a spoon right before I ate that. <laughs> so my body was like, holy shit, you actually have some calories in it. And my body responds really well to fats right now. So got a pretty sick pump. So I'm sorry that I only had the old video to document, but sorry. But now I'm cooking, making a nice little dish. So I got the, my tempeh in here that I explained before, and then a little bit of vegetable medley frying up. And I'm fr I got, I'm adding 150 grams of rice. And another thing I've been adding is these zucchini noodles. So they're like, like little noodles, but obviously very low calorie. I threw the thing, but they're like 100 grams, like 30 cal or something like that. And I also add rice cauliflower lately to my rice. Because it's like kind of crunchy, tastes really good when you fry it up. There's no nutrition on here, but cauliflower is 
lower calorie, lower carb than rice. So it's like a nice alternative to add to it. And yeah, I'll show you how I cook this. Frying the veggies in the tempeh, because the tempeh on the thing, it says to fry it a bit, so I just do, I don't know, don't ask. Then I'm this time I'm adding this meal. Protein Chef hooked me up with completely custom things when I told them I was eating less protein, so they gave me just four ounces of meat in here. I already cut it, I already cut it all up, so that's why it looks like that. But I put in the meat, and there's some butternut squash in there that they had too, which is var mass. So while that's all getting hot, I throw in a bunch of these garlic cloves. I love garlic. So I put a pretty fat amount in there. This is from Costco, so it's just minced garlic. I also add beans in at this point. Not too many right now. I don't want to poop myself while I sleep. You know how it is. I let this stuff kind of fry up for a while. I'll put in the rice now too, I guess. Mazel. Let that soak up some of the flavors. Put in the rice. The cauliflower rice can be fried for a bit too. The only... I put a random amount of this because I really don't care. This is just for volume right now because I'm obsessed with eating big meals. I need to eat a big meal to be satisfied. And the only tip I give about this zucchini stuff, which by the way, all this... the rice, cauliflower, and the zucchini noodles I got from my sister, so thank you, Melissa. But don't fry up the zucchini noodles for too long because they get kind of nasty, I guess, so put those in last. Same with the turmeric, the spice, I put that in right at the end because I think it can ruin some of the properties with it. And then I add pure ground pepper to the turmeric. I don't know if I already said that, but it increases the absorption rate of the turmeric, helps your body utilize it. So, right now, I just kind of mash this up. And I mean, if I wasn't like worried about my kidneys and all the shit I'm doing, I'd be adding like mad soy sauce, teriyaki sauce into this, but I've been cutting my sodium very low, like I don't add any sodium. So sadly, that means like no sauces. So I've been using Miss Dash every now and then for a little bit. It's got zero sodium in it, bit of potassium, pretty good shit. This one tastes good, more garlic. I love my garlic, by the way, absolutely love it. So in the process of cooking and in my day today, I've been trying to pack, but I've been pretty unsuccessful so far. And my house is a gosh darn mess right now. I have a bunch of my clothes kind of laid out on the bed right here and here. It's pretty much all just Gymshark clothes because I'm going down to Toronto for Gymshark, so I feel like that's all I'm allowed to wear anyways. So I'm literally just kind of packing that all up. Very disorganized, but thank God that I am single and I don't entertain anybody because my house is a mess right now. I'm gonna have to come home and clean the shit out of this place because it's not good. Second last step, just gonna add a bunch of random amount of these. It's a pretty freaking big meal already so I'm not gonna put too many in. Just a little for, a little extra, you know? And I already put the black pepper in there but I'll put in the turmeric right now. Just a dash of that. And then you just mix it all up and probably leave it on here for another like minute. You need it. I'm also the world's messiest cook. Whenever I try and like do this, just move stuff around the pan, I literally just push stuff everywhere. Like look around. Every single time I cook, I create such a mess. Literally stuff all over the floor, and I just sweep before this, so like... I'm... I got nothing to say I'm like, It's a fat one. It's a big meal. And it's literally only 150 grams of carbs of rice, sorry. Four ounces of turkey and some tempeh, the meat, and the rest is kind of veggies, so... Actually very healthy locale. Much recommended, this recipe. And, as always, for your guys viewing, I'll give you a bite. Ooh! That's hot as shit, but also good. 12.30, that's how long that took, but I'm finally packed <laughs> and I brought a lot of crap. This stuff for the next few days at my parents and this is for the week in Toronto. This is gonna be my laptop and camera and all that good stuff. And yes, my house is a mess right now as always. 
I don't understand people on YouTube. Every single channel I watch, literally everybody, first of all, when they film themselves, the camera is so bright. Their houses are so bright. They're all so tan. Their smiles are so nice. And everyone looks so good. I don't know how you do that. <clears throat> B, everyone's house is so damn clean. It's like spotless. It's like walking into Martha Stewart's house. And I probably have the smallest apartment on YouTube. If you guys want to tour, there it is. And I can't even keep this clean. I must. That could be my issue. That it's too small and I have too much shit. But I'm only going to be here for a few more months. But I never. I always wonder that when I watch YouTube. That everyone's house is spotless. And I'm like, do you scrub your floors before every single video? Because I ain't got time for that. I can't even keep my goddamn picture straight. So on that note,